Hello guys, what is up? I'm back here today with another video. Again, I'm gonna do the whoosh bottle trick. Um, in the first video, I just used, I used a, a hot tag bottle, or a brandy bottle, and then I used some 40% alcohol to do the whoosh trick. Now, today, it's a bit of a change. I'm gonna use methylated spirits. I'm gonna use, see if deodorant works, because I kinda wanna see that. And then, um, yeah, if the deodorant doesn't work, we're gonna use it as a flamethrower anyway. But let me show you guys what we have in terms of glass bottles and all those other yummy things. We have, for safety, the Bri, the Bri, Bri Barbecue, Bri uh, pincers, I don't know, yeah, that. Uh, some matches to get the whole thing on the way. Methylated spirits, deodorant, some glass bottles, all three with different shapes. I want to see which whoosh trick looks the best. And then for safety, goggles, because my eyes are very important to me, and uh, some gloves, so that I don't burn myself. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good footage, but okay, let me just set everything up, and then I will um, then we can start the experiment. Okay guys, so first things first, uh, and you have to work with this, it's great care because it's very, very dangerous. I'm just going to throw little bit of methylated spirits into the bottle. There you go, just like that. And then, yeah. and then we're gonna, um, we're gonna just mix it because you want the vapors to form inside the bottle. You don't want, um, otherwise it's not gonna work. Anyway, let's quickly mix it a bit, get some vapor going. Then, I'm just gonna test, I'm just gonna do it now. You won't be able to see the flame properly because um, of the light that's coming in. But yeah, let's test it properly, but safety first. I decided I'm gonna use the tongs instead of the gloves. There we go. And you put it into the... Yo, you don't do it like that. And then does that. You couldn't see anything now, but we'll, I'll show it again on slow mo with the garage door closed. How it looks when it's a bit darker. Okay, so we have this green bottle, it has a nice long neck, so hopefully, hopefully that helps us in, or aids us in getting that nice jet blast. Exit. Want to get that vapor going. I would have no back in there. Yes! Kijk, hij gaat nog steeds. Hij heeft onder de ogen gezien. Hij heeft ook wel gezien. Op die deur dan heb je gezien. Wat? Dat was cool. Dat was wel cool. Guys, so next, <laughs> next we're gonna try the the widest of the bottles to see how it performs. We know the thin bottle, the green one. You can't see the flame inside, but it makes that epic jet out. Which I'll do that one just now again. I'm just getting that bottle a bit of a rest. Let's see if this one doesn't perform well as well. I, it's, it has the bigger yeah, neck. It's still going. What? It's 
Baik lah. Okay guys, so next thing on our list will be deodorant. I don't know how it's going to perform. I'm going to close the garage door now to get a bit of a dark room. I'm going to fill this bottle up with deodorant and then we'll see if it ignites and if it reacts the same way as the methylated spirits do. So let's quickly get cooking with that and uh, we'll light it and see. Okay, let's just try it with the bigger bottle and see what happens. See if it's as reactive. So it doesn't do. It goes. So let's close it up again and we'll get that. So it goes a lot slower than the alcohol. I didn't. I don't know why. Um, people in the comment section, please help me. But um, it still makes a cool flame. So who cares? It was good to try it for one last hurrah. I'm gonna do the cool one again. Well, I found this one the coolest, then the green bottle, and then the other bottle. But um, let's just do this one again because it's cool. I really would like to see it again. There we go. Let that be a lesson to all of you. If you oxygenize it like I did with the blowing, it's just going to make a bigger bark flame in your face. Rather just put the lid back on, starve the flame of oxygen, and then everything dissipates. You're safe and sound. Remember, safety first. Otherwise, if the heat gets too much, I can feel the bottle is pretty warm now. If the heat gets too much, it can cause the glass, uh, you can use plastic as well, but it can cause the glass to burst, and which is not what we want to do. Okay guys, that concludes our um, science class for today. So remember safety first. I definitely like the big bottle the most in terms of reactiveness than the green bottle. The other bottle I used a couple of times beforehand and uh, it looks cool, but it isn't, it isn't the best looking. Anyway, the deodorant didn't go as planned, but um, at least we made a nice flamethrower out of a bit of spark plug oil. But I enjoyed making this video and um, yeah. Sorry it's not anything outdoorsy and stuff, fishing, hunting like I'm normally doing, but 
it's bet in between hunting and fishing season and the fishing is not very good at the moment. So yeah, I'm doing other things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.